All right, this is our radar ARPA number two, and this on the other side is the number one. And as you can see, the C clutter, the dots that you can see is the C clutter that we have. It should be eliminated a little bit in order to see the actual target, danger target that will appear. So we have to adjust like this. You have to uh, eliminate through the C clutter here. As you can see, it will be slowly eliminated. And all of the remaining is actually the, the weight that are that are taken from the reader scanner so now it's a little bit bit better not like this one which is uh, so not yet this uh, one this one on the, on the other side the number one it should it should be adjusted just like this so the range of this radar is we used on six and the other one is 12 nautical miles distance in order that we could see the targets which is near and it will be more accurate all right so that should be like that so at the moment there are no vessel on our vicinity right yes that's correct okay so uh, on the other side this is the uh Take this. Take this. Yes. This is the um, this number one, and the other side is this number two. Yes. The modern technology. There's no map anymore. This will be the one being used. Uh, our ship is a fully, fully carriage of this, so there is no any more paper charts on board. We will be using all this, and this is certified, and our vessel is class approved to carry only this and no more no need to carry any paper charts no they will be picking up speed at the moment because the, they changed course so the use of egg this <coughs> so, so the use of egg this this is the basic menu and uh, the more in, the most important basic uh, uses of egg this is here you see this is the maneuver board in case uh, any crew will uh, wish to jump on aboard <laughs> uh we will just have to press this one and John, so we have to if you want to see uh more more data in the days or the the most accurate and the, the most uh, complete you should use this other display we have base display standard display and the other display for the for the base display you could only see like that it's it's like a uh, open paper there's no other writing there but on the next display is the standard display you could see a little more of the data inside the chart or the electronic charts but we should always use the other so that it will display all the information that a navigator will be using right so that is the display for the other and it's complete this is the the heading the speed through the water course over ground speed over ground okay heading this is the heading all right this is the heading by gyro and this is the speed through the water through the water this is the lag speed and this is the course over ground okay uh, this 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 course over ground is the actual course that the vessel is now uh, uh, heading no, no. it is now uh, uh, rotating uh, okay so heading degree, and course degree. is different uh, speed over ground, this is the actual speed of the vessel in the water, including any okay. any set and drift. Okay, and the other is the actual position of the vessel? Right? Yes, this is the GPS position of the vessel. Okay. And then, this is the Victor, which is the tr true Victor we are using. And the next one is the route. Uh, this is the storage of the route. You can see all the routes there that uh, the vessel is saved uh, in the this in the this and then yes, yes. all the, the the places that the vessel had been to yes and then we are going to the, to the next waypoint is 90 but our destination is up to the 99 waypoint number 99 which is the pilot station and you can see the, the this is the actual speed and 
beneath the actual speed you can see the the uh, time to go and the ETA okay. so it's very easy now if you want to see the ETA you just press actual actual uh, it will display the actual uh, speed of the vessel but if you want to calculate another uh, ETA by using another uh, speed you can just uh, input whatever speed you want like let's say 30 knots and then it would be the ETA now okay. this is UTC right? but this is the UTC yeah, so it will be uh, calculated to local time on the port of arrival yes so okay. we are going to Vancouver and Vancouver is uh, 8 minus 8 UTC minus 8 so okay. this time is advance of 8 hours, eight hours. to the actual ETA the okay. Good. so this is the port list it's the port that a vessel has already, already been uh, uh, called at okay. and then if you want to press the home button and then it will it will display the actual position of the ship here and now this is the EBL and the VRN which is the electronic bearing line and the variable range marker so I am using EBL in order for me to adjust any course to steer that I wanted to here this is the EBL now you can see I will zoom it out zooming in and then the moving one this is the EBL so whenever I want to change the course I will just uh, use this as, as my guide and if you want to use the VRM the VRM is just the, the range so it will show the the range so this is the VRM the circle one which will give you the the distance and the the B EBL is will uh, give you the bearing so if you if you could see there is a crossing point between the VRM and the EBL that would be the course and distance of the point that you wish to point out okay very well said yeah so this is the model of the JRC ECDIS this is a common uh, uh, manufacturer of ECDIS in the world so you will uh, see this type of ECDIS from a lot of vessels that's right all right so thank you very much very well said hope you learned something about the ECDIS yeah that's only the basic and the basic information and, and a lot of uh, information should be learned in the ECDIS because it is a very uh, well featured uh, equipment to be used as on the navigation for okay. the and uh, they are have courses to attend in order to certify to become a user of this ECDIS uh, this is given to all officers Hi, I'm Jovo Sibulo and I'm a seafarer. If you're new to my channel, my videos are about the life of a seafarer, when on board and also when on vacation. It's all about what we do, how we do it, and how we're able to withstand this very challenging job. If you are a seafarer, a relative of a seafarer, and wanting to become a seafarer, you are in the right channel. If you are just curious about what we are, please watch our video so you will learn more about us. We will make educational and informative videos with regard to marine engineering and navigations.